Well, hello there, and thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony, and I'm here to give you an RV, RV review, <laughs> RV park review of Indian Lakes here in, um, oh, I know this word, but, but, but uh, I'll put the name right here. What city we're in? <laughs> it escapes me. But uh, I'm going to take you through, show you things I like, and show you things I don't like. I just got here today, but by the time the end of this video, I will have been here about a week. So uh, I'll get a chance to see some different things in this RV parking. But out front, I'd like to show you a couple things. One is, look, they got a cool sign. Hey, how about that, Harbor Lakes? Yeah, Harbor Lakes RV Resort. Take note, that's a sign. Mm-hmm. You guys need one, and you know you do. You know you need a sign. Or get you one like that. This one here is a KOA, but it's actually a Thousand Trails Park also. Uh, a thousand trails on this park and directly across the street how convenient is this rv dealers with texts and a little store and stuff what a novel idea and also right here on property somewhat on property is a general store with the gas stations now this is outside and of course that's the way in so you have to get a gate card but anyway i will take you through there and uh, uh show you how the the sites are kind of set up and show you definitely show you some things some things i don't like that I've already seen and I'll show you some things I, I kind of like. You just entered the coolest life RV park review edition. Well, there are several different sections of this park. Um, this part, part here is more for annuals, as you can tell. You got the man but uh there's places like that there's also some large grassy areas you see some other campers on the other side i'm just kind of looking around to see if i see a little uh restrooms or something like that but i don't there's some more areas like that but this one here this area here looks a lot different from where i'm at i'm at a uh, i'm at an area well let's just go over there now I'm at an area that is not like this at all. A uh, lot less trees. It's like they had a big open area, so they just put a bunch of gravel down and okay, RV sites and they put a bunch of hookups. So uh, two each is on. It's okay. I mean, it's it's going to work for us for a week because we don't plan on spending a lot of time here at the park. They've got three maps. So it's not a very well designed map. It's hard to see and get around. But anyway, once you get used to it, I guess it's okay. Uh, I think it's a trash day or something should be going on because these are pretty full and Those wouldn't be the ones I would use because I've got some that are closer to where I'm at but That's some of your full-timers There is a bath right there in the blue building you see uh, I don't know if it's got laundry in it or not, but you can see some of these other sites. These are some pull-throughs They said these were booked for the week I was here but Maybe they're coming in next weekend or something. I mean, I don't know. There's a whole lot of sites here open. As you can see. But let's see if they've got the, what kind of amperage these pull-through sites are. I think they got both the 50 and uh, I think they are 50 amp. Nice setup. you got breakers. And this is just like my box at my uh, site. It's got 50, 30, and a, the 110 outlet. 110 outlets are really neat if you've got an outdoor grill. You want to just not put through your regular system and you want to plug it down here, you can do that. I used to do that one park. So. Oh, I did find an activity sheet. I got one of these from the front too. But as you can see, it's Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. It's, it's all weekend stuff. Makes you think this is a weekend park. You wouldn't think so with as many people that, that are annuals. They'd have some annual activities or weekday activities, but no. It's bizarre. They, they are highly in need of an activities coordinator. So this is outside laundry room. This, they've got a laundry room here. Looks like they're all in good condition. I don't see any signs that says they're broken, so that's good. I don't normally check out the restrooms, but I do sometimes. I'll turn the light off because it was off when I came in there. I've not been in here. I don't believe there's anybody in here. Of course, if there is, then I will stop this video and redo it. Nice, big, spacious. Toilet day. More toilets, showers. Cool, got four showers in here. Good condition, I like them. I'd be okay with taking a shower here. Heck, I just might. Hmm, maybe we'll do it tomorrow morning. 
I normally take a shower inside my RV. Ever since I started taking showers inside of my RV, I like taking showers in my RV. Everything's real convenient. So, interesting. I like it. I'm actually kind of impressed. This isn't the only bathhouse here either, so that's good. Now, anytime you see a dump station, which I'm, from what I gather, this is not the only dump station here, um, that makes you, uh, that informs you that there are places that you can camp here that don't have sewer. Uh, there may be some dry camp in here. Dry camp would be like maybe for tents. Uh, but uh, so that's that one. Mine, I've got full hookups, so I got sewer with mine. So, but it's actually in really good condition. So, so this is a nice area here. We've got uh, some different things going on here. Nice little water, and they got oh geese. These will come at me in a minute because there's there's geeselings, goslings, gooselings. <laughs> Just they can all swim. Probably not very well. They're pretty young. That's a nice little lake area here along the water. There's actually some people out over there fishing. That's right on the back of this area here. There, this is water and power, but no sewer down here. Well, then again, I stand correct. Look, sewer pipe. Let's look at it. Maybe it's 30 amp or something. Yep, that's 30 amp. That 30 amp there got blown out, and so they put another one in. So uh, 30 amps. That's why there's not people. A lot of people. A lot, a lot of big. A lot of people have 50 amp rigs so anyway it's still a little cool out here this time of the year so this little picnic area here it's got four tables and some you know place to cook out and look at that full-size basketball court actually i'm in pretty good shape i might come out here and shoot some one day in fact i know i will because i'm parked right over there <laughs> see what I'm, I'm that's me there so i'm gonna come out here and shoot some let's check out this check out this playground not used right now. It's getting late in the day. It's about seven o'clock, I think. So, but we're going to go check out the activities building and see if we can get in and uh, and the pool. That's another small lake. Someone out there fishing. Out here by the pool, I believe this is the pool building. I'll give you a shot of it. it looks like it's got uh, that one. There's got a padlock on it. Looks like an activities room here. It's in really good condition. You know what? I'm just gonna ride my bike back there. If I can do it one-handed. Oh yes. Yes I can. That lake goes all the way around here. That's what the pool looks like. It looks like it's empty. Decent size, not bad. Got a place for a lifeguard. I don't know if they have lifeguards here or not. But it doesn't open until the end of May, um, May 24th or something like that. Memorial Day, is that what it is? Anyway, nice setup though, gazebos. I'm gonna go over to that building and see what's. So this is a recreation office, it says. I guess they check things out like, I don't know, paddles and may do some of the activities here. Yeah, I'm on my bicycle riding around here, so. Again, it's right here by the lake. There's that other building there, across the lake. Nice big fire pit area. More look like rental cabins over there, across the way. I'm sure they are, they are rental cabins. Nothing seems to be used. You'd almost think it's the dead of winter, but I know it's not. It's a little chilly out here, but it's not too bad. This looks like a brand new facility here. Restrooms and the pool. Pool capacity 166. Well, that one there is working. It's probably locked, I'm sure. Yes, it's locked. But uh, let's sneak you in. So that's the pool there. They got it working. They got another pool. It looks like the kiddie pool over there, maybe family pool. Yep, that's a kiddie pool. Water's running, so it's got some splash stuff. It's just like a little wading pool is all it is. Kind of cool though. So yeah, that's the uh, bathhouse here at the end. And I want to show you some, something else here that you might find interesting. They're not all jammed together. 
You see how good size this slot is? You can put a picnic table and park in front of this, this one here or park beside there. There's room for that. You don't often find that at RV parks. I'm glad we found that here because we definitely have room to park at ours. I mean, look, that, that's a good size. That's a good, what, 20, 20 feet, 25 feet wide. That's what ours basically looks like, that spot there. You got a fire pit, um, picnic table, and you got 50 amp and sewer. But you can see again, this is, it's like they just leveled all this, pulled all the trees and planted the trees after the fact. Uh, not a gravel road, big plus, but all these parking sites are gravel. Do have some water standing in different areas. It rained pretty hard today, but like they doesn't have any. So they done good putting the rocks in there. So that's this part of the park. Real different than the other side. 